Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Now, we're well into the swing of January now, which marks a year since I bought my 2007 BMW 760 Li V12 off no other than YouTube's automotive godfather, JM on cars. In just a year, we've done so much in this car. I spent 24 hours in it, crashed a supercar meet. I took it to Germany, of course, to do some top speed runs and some Nürburgring laps. And still to this day, my most viewed video on YouTube is the very one where I revealed this car to you guys. Truth be told though, although I love this car dearly, it is time for it to go. It cost me around 900 pounds a year in car insurance and about 600 pounds a year in road tax. And unfortunately, I just don't use it. If money was no object, then I would hold on to this car for life because there is just nothing quite like it and I mean I'm sure there never will be again. What's more is these cars only seem to be appreciating in value. Now I've spent about £5,000 on this car in the year or so that I've owned it on preventative maintenance but also just routine maintenance making sure it is just pristine and running as well as possible. So right now it probably is in about as good condition as it has ever been. But needs must and in fact I'm incredibly excited about the prospect that one of you lucky people watching this video are going to win this car. I've teamed up with my buddy Jamie at Hero Competitions to give this car away and what's more is I'm going to deliver the car to the winner's doorstep. Of course, as long as you're in the UK mainland and not in a Wagadougou. Tickets are £10 and are limited and the competition will go ahead and the car will be given away regardless of ticket sales. In fact, if you do go ahead and get a ticket before Friday at noon, it'll only be nine quid. Now, just imagine winning this car, once worth over £125,000 for the price of a couple of drinks unless you live in London when that's probably half a drink or if you live in Yorkshire where well, that's probably 10 drinks but imagine that 125 grand this car once was and it could be yours for nine quid if you get tickets by Friday at noon. The competition should last around a month unless all of the tickets sell out in which case the live draw will be brought forward. Now Hero Competitions are on Instagram and Facebook and Facebook is where the live draw will be held so make sure you go ahead and follow those channels. But to recap on this car, let's not just forget how incredible and rare this car is. It's of course a six litre naturally aspirated V12 engine. It produces I think 431 horsepower and around the same in pounds feet of torque. It is very, very rare indeed. In fact, of the facelift long wheelbase V12 that I'm driving right now, it's estimated that less than 200 were ever built worldwide, which I mean, makes this thing rarer than a Ferrari Enzo. This car has great service history. It's been meticulously maintained. And since I've owned it, only at BMW Specialist RBM Hampshire. The car is on 127,000 or so miles. And of course, I have straight piped this car. It's a full custom single bore system from the cat's back. So it will pass an MOT. And that was done by Deutsche Tech back in, I think, February at quite a considerable cost because it was fully bespoke. However, I know that it's not going to be for everyone, but don't let it put you off because I will include and I still have the original system in its entirety, which I think has just two weld points. So more or less, uh, it'd be pretty easy to just weld on the original system. No coding or anything like that was done to get the new one on. So it should be very straightforward if you did decide to do that. But yes, the original exhaust will be included with the car if you're not a complete buffoon like I am. But I recommend you drive it just a little bit with the exhaust as it is, because it will put a smile on your face. And let's also not forget what else we love about this car, which is its plethora of toys. I mean, let's start with the fact it's a long wheelbase. It means in the back, the legroom is resplendent. Um, you can literally live there, as I did for 24 hours back earlier last year. There's plenty of toys. There's a TV in the back. You've got window blinds, which in fact, if you're sitting on the left side, for example, you control individually 
the blinds on the right side, which I think is absolutely hilarious. The rear seats are electric, so you can recline them. They're both heated and cooled, which the ones in the front are too. Also with a massage function, which is quite nice. But yeah, the rear ones are also heated and cooled. There's a fridge, there's a TV, there's individual air conditioning units, and the list goes on. You won't get bored of this car. I'm certainly not bored of it. It's just time for it to move on. And like I say, the prospect that one of you people watching this video are going to end up with this car in just a few weeks time, and I'm gonna get to meet you and deliver it to you, well, that excites me tremendously. A lot more, I think, than just seeing this thing sat on a driveway wanting to be driven. This thing's not slow either. I mean, for a 2.1 or 2.2 ton, five meter plus barge, on paper, this thing does 0 to 60, and I think it's 5.4 seconds, which is quite remarkable. But what is most remarkable and what I found out, and you can go and watch actually, from when I took this car to the Nürburgring and to the Autobahn, is just the way that the power is relentless all the way up to that limiter at around 160 odd miles per hour. It just keeps going and does not slow at all until you hit that top speed. It's incredible when you look at the thing and then you see the thing, and in this case, hear the thing go past. It's just wrong, but it makes it so right. The ride quality, of course, is unrivaled to anything I've driven before. In fact, much better even than my Range Rover. Got a heated steering wheel, I've got my heated seat on now. It's lovely, and I just love touching the windows and feeling that there's actually two panes because they're double glazed, which just means the ambience in here is on point. Something, I guess, only to be compared to something like a Bentley or a Rolls Royce, really. Now, if you are worried about running costs, because I've just talked about how I spent 5,000 pounds on the car in the year that I've owned it, I would say, yes, that's a fair consideration to have. Although, lots of what I've done has been preventative. And so, I would hope that the person who ends up with this car will not have any big bills coming their way. Also, fuel economy, you might be worried about. Not as bad as you might think. I think as an average, you're gonna expect somewhere around 19, 20 miles per gallon if you're just using it to run around. And if you want to do a long run in it, you could easily get 25. So it's not terrible. That being said, if you really, really get your feet down, you're probably gonna see single digits. But to be honest, it's not really the car for that. And you might only do that once or twice in anger in a year, say. Tax is the £600 ban because this is a later than 2005 car, uh, which means it's the facelift, which is sort of top of the range of the 760 Li that they did in this generation. Uh, really, really is in fact. The car is in a stunning Monaco blue with a beige interior and wood trim. It's absolutely gorgeous to look at and even just the stitching in all the headlining is spectacular. And the, the attention to detail is like nothing I've seen before, certainly like nothing I've ever owned before. Now there's a little bit of a paint chip on the driver's side door, there's a few on the bonnet and some blemishes, but to be expected for a car of this mileage and age. And of course, as you've seen, I have used it. It's only now that I'm not really using it, which is why it's only right to let it go. And to one of you, it will go, which is a bonus really for me because, well, it's exciting. I'm gonna to get to give it to you. So that's it then. One of you lucky people is going to end up with this car in just a few weeks and I can't wait to meet the winner. Do go ahead and support my mate Jamie with Hero Competitions and get yourself a ticket for this 760 Li. Nine quid if you do before Friday at noon and 10 pounds thereafter. And also the quicker the tickets sell out, the quicker you're gonna find out if you're the lucky winner. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks all for the support on the channel. I hope this is the nicest result for all of us. Many of you don't want to see this car go at all. Most of you understand that it's the way life is, unfortunately. I do have to let it go. And I'm sure the majority of you will be happy that we're now doing it in this way. After trying a couple of other things, this really is the best way to give away this car through a giveaway so many thanks for all your support thank you so much for watching please do go ahead and buy a ticket so i can meet you and hand over the keys to this car and i'll see you all hopefully very very soon